Hello, friends. How we doing? Okay. Maybe it's a warm up. Maybe it's a little burnout. Okay. Today, easy. 12 minutes, three rounds, four movements. Keeping it simple. Okay. I know probably going to see a bunch of these very similar format, but really it is add on to your workout or you've only got 12 minutes in your day before getting up, getting ready for work. Throw it in where you can. 12 minutes to spend together. Okay, there are two standing movements, both requiring a little bit of a hinge. Okay, so we're going to remind ourselves to draw our belly in, tilt our tailbone under, and then there's going to be two core stability movements from the ground. First one, standing, we're going to do a worm walkout. Now remember, this is different than a squat walkout. It does require a hinge. We're going to keep our hips high right until the last moment we get into that plank. And then our back stepping lunge with a twist. Okay, so it will be a hinge, a step back, rotate, step forward, stand. Okay, those are our two big movements. On our back, we've got a dead bug. We're going to progress a little bit in our dead bug today. And then the pointer or the bird dog. Okay, lots of opportunity to add a little bit, but today not going to add weight necessarily. Let's add control, find range, and build some stability and strength. 10 seconds to get yourself ready to go. Our worm walkout is a straight legged movement or relatively straight. Ready? Belly in, hips back, we hinge. We then walk forward, keeping our hips high, find that plank position. We can walk our hands back to our feet, brace the core. Stand, worm walk. You can also walk forward and then walk the feet in. Stand. Okay, so two kind of different ways to go about adding or playing with this movement. If we're not quite comfortable walking those feet in, keeping them a little bit longer, then just play with moving the hands. Moving forward, core, moving back brace and rise. Okay, one more. Oh, there we go. So next one is going to be a step back lunge. So this one is going to be a little bit of a squat, but we're going to tilt forward, bring our hands to the ground. Okay, so stepping back, fingers, one foot goes back. Here's the twist. Okay, twist, step forward and stand. Okay, we can do Lower intensity as required, dropping that back knee before standing. And it is just about kind of getting moving. We want to feel that rotation through the thoracic spine, the mid spine not necessarily the low back. So keep the glutes firing. Even when you step back, glutes are firing. Keep that low back safe. Onto our backs, dead bug. Now, if you know dead bug, you can go right ahead into those four options. But for those of us who are just figuring it out, start here and we're gonna lift one leg at a time. So our shoulders are down, the back of our head is down, the hips are down, and we're lifting leg at a time. Okay, a little bit of progression as required. We tap one at a time. Okay, so we're thinking, scooping that tailbone in, drawing our belly down, shoulders, head are staying planted. Is we're not lifting, we're not squirming, we are in control. <sighs> Flipping up and over, coming to all fours. So we're not going to be here obviously too long, but with our pointer. Progression is exactly kind of the same. You can choose these low impact options. Our goal is to keep shoulders stacked over wrists and hips kind of over top of the knees. So we're not swaying, we're not rolling. It is just the limbs that are gonna move. We can move to get the heels up to hip height as 
an option. Or we can start adding a little bit of movement, maybe opposite arm and leg. It is that core stiffness and stability here that we're trying to keep though. Changing our center of gravity, our balance points, means that we have to change how the core is working. That's it. You've done all four movements. Two more times. Let's go. Warm walk. Okay, lunge step back. Twist, stand. Glute drive to get the hips through as you stand. Push, okay, push. Maybe we're feeling like just doing step back lunges, adding a twist. Okay, maybe your body your day oh. dead bug still here. Okay, maybe we're having that opposite arm as well. And of course, some of us know we can extend out instead of tapping. Reach and draw in. Reach and then draw in. Progressing towards lifting. And if you'd like to try, you can also try this with the toes tucked under from what's called bear pose. round. You've done all the movements. You know where we're going. Let's get there. So, a little bit of core, a little bit of glutes, playing with that hinge. Stretching out, warming up back side of those legs. Ah. 
So, hinge, step back, twist, upright, step back, twist. Somewhere in between. So shoulders and hips stay planted. Okay, if you find yourself rolling around, take the intensity back. Work on finding that stiffness and support and gradually progress. We need to be engaging our midline because it's gonna help keep us safe as we start getting into more exciting movements. Top shape, pointer from that bear position on the toes, floating knees, whatever it is that makes sense for you. It's just 12 minutes, okay? Enough time to add to some of those shorter workouts, enough time not leave our bedroom first thing in the morning until we've gone through one. Come on, 10 seconds. Oh, that's it. 12 minutes. Get some work done. I'm breathing. I'm warm. We're getting there. So, body weight, okay, no equipment required, not a ton of space required. You know, for me, you know, six feet by what, three feet? That's it. Your day, your challenge, your body, your work. And that's why we're friends. Until next time, have fun.